I don't know. I, first of all, I think it would be embarrassing to myself and my family. <laughs> and, uh, and second of all, these guys, I wouldn't want to devalue any of the hard work they put in. I've, I've uh, been enjoying my, my retirement since uh, really officially November. I haven't touched a shot, but although I did touch one with a, we had a Yeah, we had a, there's an all-comers meeting in Athens, Georgia. And I, I was test a 12-pound shot put and played around with some of the high school kids. What are you doing now? Uh, so I'm opening up a sports performance center in Athens. Um, Athens, Georgia, with uh, the Athens Orthopedic Clinic. It's uh, going to be the first of its kind in that area of Georgia. We're pretty fired up about it. Uh, that'll open up in August. Any volunteer coaching? I try not to focus on the negative side of things. I mean, if you, if you, I've seen that that particular mentality just completely destroy athletes' careers. They get so concerned about what everybody else is doing and how those people could be beating them. Um, through cheating, that uh, they, they, it just destroys them. It's not a, it's not a very, it's not an uplifting thing to think that people are being only because they're taking drugs. Well, to uh, look at it another way, did you ever feel wrong? Uh, in hindsight, yes. Yes. Um, there have been two occasions in my life where I've been robbed from a gold medal at that time by people who have cheated. The first time that I knew anyway was 2003 when Mitch beat me at the World Championships. He's been since, he's now tested positive twice. I don't think there's any reason to believe that he was clean during those games, during those World Championships. And of course with Delanog uh, testing positive, but that's all hindsight. I mean, that's all, that's all retroactive. But I, I don't let those things consume me. But what I, what I think the most important thing here is like you want to believe and, and, and trust the systems. If you don't trust the system, it can really, it can be really self-defeating. Well, I think the I think the message here, from my standpoint, is that one, you can do it the right way and, and, and excel. And there's a lot of people out there that are in positions of leadership and influence that don't say that. Uh, they say this is the only way. And frankly, that's a matter of well, you know, like it's just it's it's something that's always motivated me to push harder and harder uh, in, in training and in life. And I think that that's the message here is is if you do it the right way, it's going to take a little bit longer and make it a little bit longer to even achieve the amount of success that you could have, have the potential to gain. But if you do it the right way, you can do it. Uh, and at the end of the day, you're going to sleep well, you're going to have your integrity, you're going to have your honor. That's all that really matters to me. Did you know the rest of my life to be the gold medalist? And, uh, and I'm not going to look back. I've never looked back on any past victories or failures. I've always used them as learning points and, and ways to improve uh, going forward. Um, yeah. So uh, you know that's how I'm gonna look at this. Is this will be a, this will be a way for me to learn and, and grow, and hopefully that uh, the message here is that uh, it does pay to do it the right way. Uh, it may not pay right away, but over the long term, you've always got your integrity and eventually you know, how do you It's about as unusual for me as it is for y'all. Like, this guy did this thing like nine years ago. What the heck is going on? Talk about milking it. So, I don't know. It's, uh, the, uh, because it happened so long ago, I think the emotions are a little bit uh, more subdued. And, and uh, But it's been great because I've been able to share this experience with my, with my family, with my two girls here, and my wife. And uh, I wouldn't have had that opportunity nine years ago. So, does she...